Before we get started, go ahead and collect one Phillips screwdriver, one adjustable wrench, one rubber mallet, four D-alkaline batteries. You'll need these tools to assemble your new hybrid trainer. Keep in mind that assembly requires two people and you shouldn't use power tools. They could damage the product parts. Step one, unbox your new hybrid trainer and spread out the parts. Place some of the packaging under the frame to hold it up. Grab the rear stabilizer and turn it so the holes are facing the frame. Screw in the rear stabilizer with two M10 80 millimeter screws. Note, start all the screws and then tighten them once everything is fitting how you want it to. You can remove the packaging from under the frame now. Step two, grab the upright and front stabilizer. Turn them so the large holes on the front stabilizer are facing the upright. Attach them with the two M10 80 millimeter screws. Step three, take the front stabilizer over to the frame. There is a main wire tie in the frame. Pull that wire out of the underside of the frame. There is a similar wire under the upright called the upper wire. Step four, insert the upright into the frame. Tighten it with six M10 20 millimeter screws. Remember to start the screws before tightening completely. Connect the upper wire to the main wire. Step five, cover up the wires now that they are attached. Grab the wire cover and attach it to the frame with two M4 16 millimeter screws. Step six, have your friend grab the pivot bracket and hold it up close to the upright. Locate the wire tie in the pivot bracket. Wrap it around the upright wire and gently pull the top piece of the pivot bracket wire tie until it is routed out the top of the pivot bracket. Step seven, apply a generous amount of grease to the pivot axle. Slide the pivot bracket onto the upright and hold it in place. Be sure not to pinch the upper wire. Step eight, slide the right pedal arm onto the right pivot leg. Note, this part may come pre-greased. Attach it with an M8 14 millimeter shoulder screw, pivot cover, and an M8 washer. Repeat this step for the left pivot leg. Step nine, slide a pivot spacer onto each side of the pivot axle. Then slide the right and left pivot legs onto the pivot axle. Tighten an M8 14 millimeter shoulder screw, pivot cover, and M8 washer into each end of the pivot axle at the same time in opposite directions. Note, sometimes the axle can get pushed to one side when you are attaching the pivot legs. Make sure it is centered before you continue. Step 10. Tighten an M8 14 millimeter shoulder screw with a pivot cover and an M8 washer into the right crank arm. Slide the right pedal arm onto the right crank bracket. Use three M8 12 millimeter screws to attach. Repeat this step on the left side. Step 11, remove the screws and back cover from the console. Insert the D batteries and then replace the screws and back cover. Step 12, have your friend hold the console close to the pivot bracket and then connect the wires on the console to the upper wire and the left and right pulse wires. Note, sometimes the console doesn't contain wires and the upper wire connects directly into the console. If there is excess wire, fit it into the pivot bracket or the console. Next, attach the console to the pivot bracket with four of the M4 16 millimeter screws. Make sure you don't pinch the wires. Step 13, find the right upper body arm and fit it above the upper body cover. Slide the upper body cover upward until it's tight. Attach the right upper body arm to the right pivot leg with three of the M8 38 millimeter hex bolts and three of the M8 lock nuts. You'll want to start all the hex bolts and then tighten them. Also, make sure that the lock nuts are inside the hexagonal holes. Now slide the upper body cover downward onto the right pivot leg. Repeat this step on the left side. Step 14. Insert a seat handlebar into the seat frame, then attach it with two of the M8 38 millimeter bolts and two of the M8 lock nuts. Make sure the lock nuts are in the hexagonal holes. Repeat this step on the other side. Step 15. Now attach the seat frame to the seat carriage with four of the M6 35 millimeter screws. Step 16. 
Attach the seat to the seat frame with four M6 20 millimeter screws. Make sure all of your parts are tightened before you begin using your hybrid trainer.